I'm here with Ken from Belgium. He's my oldest student. We have been training together since 2003, 2004, right after I got my black belt. So I invited him to show a few techniques and here we go. Okay, so what I want to show is very basic stuff, but things, I think once you see them, you just remember them for the rest of your game. Because a lot of people these days, I see them do very advanced stuff. But what I mean is good base with when I see people doing bearing bolos, but they don't know how to, how to open a closed guard. So the goal of the, the little course is to get like from a position where I'm like stuck and close guard to a position where I'm like have his legs open, I'm able to control his knees and I'm ready to pass. So first. When people are holding your head, it's very hard to posture. It's very hard because they will pull you down and it's hard to posture. So the most easiest thing to do is to just bring one hand in, put on your top of your head, and you start crying and get face, you grab to get out. Sometimes when you put of your hand, you're able to push it out and you have a little hole to bring your head out. So the first thing you want to do is just free your head. Whether you do it like this, you probably with your two hands, and you probably with one hand, and you control, and you sit up straight. Okay. So, we try to free our head. When our head's free, a lot of times what happens is that the person will try attacking by putting his foot. What you want to do every time you're here, you see I'm already in danger because my elbow is getting outside. I always want to square up with him. So that I put my foot, and I square up and I come back and I control. So every time he wants to start attacking my arm, I kind of remove this hook by squaring this. Boom. It's a good time to notice that when I'm sitting in closed guard, there's two ways for my foot to be. I can be flat, and that's the easy way. That's the way it's stable for beginners. People who are used to wrestle, for example, they would prefer to sit like this. Like this, it's more difficult for me to keep my balance as a beginner. But when I'm a good wrestler, I'm much more active to start pressuring or coming up because my feet are already in the mat. So I would recommend for beginners to sit like this unless they're very good wrestlers. Then I would recommend to sit like this. When you're trying to fight for your posture, a lot of time what happens is people will bring their first arm. You do not want people to control your color. If you're caught, the deeper this is, the more I'm in danger. And it's getting really like, I'm getting afraid, you know, for all the attacks. So the moment he tries to put it, you grab the sleeves here, you see how I roll them, like this, and I straighten up. Even if the grip doesn't come off, it slides out. And that's the part you want to have. You don't want the grip to be like all deep like this. No, you want to be like that's here, slide out, safe distance from your neck. If Still, this one goes in, and the second one comes, because you are too late or whatever. In this case, you might still try first to posture up as, first, as much as possible, and then under the top arm, you go in, you go again through your head, and this will create space here for your head to slide out. You are still stuck here, but you see, you can now grab again here and start posturing up. So, to repeat once more, if one comes in, immediately try to bring it out as much as possible. If you're too late, you're here and he grabs with the other one, you go underneath, you post on your head, and you create space in between his arms, and you loop your head out, and you start posturing up. Sometimes what happens is I'm trying to posture, and they loop my arm, and you get there in any other way. As long as my arm's here stuck, I'm like risking attacks, but it's also difficult for me to posture up. Well, the solution is actually very simple. The, what, what I do is my hand, you know, turn, slide over his stomach, and come out. It's nothing more than this. So we're here, he loops, turn, bring it over my belly and his belly, come out, and I posture. Close 
guard, you establish good posture where you want to be. Then the easiest way for me is to stand up to try to open his legs. The way I do this is I grab one arm, I try to keep it on the inside, I shift my weight to one side which allows me to put my foot. The moment my foot comes up, I raise my hips forward as much as possible and at the same time I push up on this hand while I step with my other foot. So I go, boom, I look forward and I lift him up as much as possible. If I can slide him under me, that's better. Now, this toe is pointing out, it's not so much a problem, the other toe needs to be pointing inward. Because this is the toe where he probably is going to go under hook and start sweeping. So the more I point it in inward here, the more difficult for him to reach it. My arms and elbows stay inside and my posture is straight. So once more, I make sure I have a tight grip. You can turn your hand here, but you don't have to turn it too much because the more you turn your hand, the more space he has here to work his elbow. So it's like just a little bit is more than enough so that your elbow is inside and this grip is tight. You grab the thing, go on the right, you step, hips come forward. While you step, look how my back is straight and coming up. Can you help here to pull? And I turn my knees, my knee inside, which my toes spaces. Let's see. Posture, boom, you breathe. Control, good grip. He probably comes attacking with his arm or whatever. That's the moment I grab. I pull it in, stand up, I walk forward. See, I look forward, my hips are pushing forward. This is very important. Whenever I'm like this, he's gonna start pulling me. Now I wanna be here. Now at this point, I want to slide my chest to one side so I have space here. And this is the moment I will be able to straighten my arm as much as possible. While I'm pushing back with my body, not with my arm, I'm not gonna go like this, just like this, and I step backwards. Which allows me to first of all, keeping my elbow to my knee here, making this hook for him more difficult, and here, having already a good knee, pass, ready to go. So on the other side. Have a good grip. Pull, and start walking up, pull, this way, pull to one side, when it opens, no problem, no, no need to push it, when it's open, it's open, I just grab the knees, pull, and I take this side, why did I take this side now, because this is my preferred side, so when I get the chance, I will just go to my preferred side. Okay, so we're able to open the legs, so what we are doing now, is just from this position, we open the legs, we want to keep them open because this first part from getting to close, from close guard to open guard is very hard. But once we're here, we have tons of options. What we're going to focus on now is just keeping the guard open. So, first of all, my posture, the more I can be like with one knee in front, my shoulder to my knee, the more tight I am, the better for me. I control the knees and my opponent tries to come in, I keep his hook up, hooks out. So he's always going to try to get in on the top or he's going to try to get on the bottom and I keep them out as much as I can. I can switch even, I can block here or I can block on his foot, pushing. Anything I can do just to keep his, his shins out, out, right? Here, here. Sometimes they grab your foot, then depending on how much pain I have here or how high the leg is, I can turn my foot and I kick this way and I step out. If the space is very narrow, a lot of times what I can do is I can just lift my toes and step out. So I'm here and I step on his wrist and I go over. And the last one with this is sometimes it's just too tight. I cannot step. So then I can keep this very tight, I can pull it up or I can push it down. And then step out again. So let's do it from the other side. So we're here. First you try to keep the hooks out, that brings them in, turns them, keep them out. I can switch to my good side if I want. If he grabs with here space, 
I turn my foot, boom, and I step this way, which will allow me to go in here. If there's less space, I put like lift, see? Step on his wrist, boom, and go out. Or when it's very tight, I put, try to pull, or try to push, and then step out. Once we have it open, we're able to keep the hooks out. The goal is to pass. There is like tons of material you can watch and you can see passes to do. I'm just going to show one so you have like one complete move from close guard to passing the guard. So what I like to do from here, I like to push a little bit into the person, go back and trap the foot and trap in the hip. Once I trap this, what I want to do is I want to put as much as weight as I can on this leg. Because the higher this leg is, the easier it is to get struck to this foot. The more I put weight on this one, the more difficult it becomes. Once I have this, I could sprawl and walk over, or if it's still a bit too high, I can just put my weight here, put it high, and I'll switch my hips over to the foot. Bring this one in, and start establishing the side position. Let's show this from here. So in here, and push in. I'm just trying to trap this foot the moment it comes. Rick tries to go for half guard. I drop the hip, bring my weight this way, and I start switching. I control this hip. Now I start working upward here, or I can switch it. Stop working here. On the other side. So over here, I trap and I trap. I have it here. Now what I do is I start putting my weight, see here how this area goes next to this one. So you can really put weight, I switch it, and I control it back here. Then I start working here. So the whole thing now, you're stuck somewhere, use your head, bring your head free. Start fighting, look how I lean, boom. I want to keep this one out, if needed, to go like this, until I have good posture. If this arm is here, I grab it with, boom, switch from here, start walking, boom, start opening, step backward, go here, trap the foot, boom, walk, 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 and it's And that's basically it, but this last part is where you want to go. The most important is for you to get all these small steps in between and think of every possible position where they can grab you, how can I counter it? Because if you can open the closed guard, you can start playing like a more advanced game and that's it.